start we'll begin with the filling because you have to cook that and leave it refrigerated overnight. So take 450 grams of either chicken breast cut up or ground beef and I'm obviously doing ground beef and fry it up and then set it aside. Take two tablespoons of vegetable oil and heat that up in a pan. Once hot, add a half a cup of onion and three cloves of garlic. Saute for 10 minutes, um, just so the onion is translucent. You don't really want it to go brown. Next, add a pinch of salt, a pinch of cumin, a pinch of oregano, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. And mix that in. Full fragrance. And then add a cup of stock. So chicken if you're using chicken and beef if you use beef. Cover and simmer on low heat for about 35 minutes or until a reddish oil starts to film on the top. Now put five cups of boiling water into a pot and then add a pinch of salt. And then once that's up and going, take three to four potatoes that have been diced, dump that in, hot water, be careful, and a cup of green bean, peas, <laughs> Now cook those for about seven minutes or so. After the time is up, um, put in the, oh, where the red oil you can see has come to the top, see, beautiful. Put in the rest of the meat, then the potatoes and Peas and the gelatin that's been dissolved in a bit of hot water. Now mix that all together thoroughly for about 10 minutes and then leave it to cool. When cool enough, transfer to a bowl and then pop it in the fridge. Leave it in there for overnight. And now for the most important part, the dough. Okay, so take three cups of flour, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of sugar, and then ordinarily you put a teaspoon of etchiod in it, um, although I got it in a paste, so I'm going to add it to the oil in that later. And then once you mix those thoroughly around. In a bowl, place two eggs, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, half a cup of water, and because I couldn't find any of the enchio powder, I, or enchio powder, however you pronounce it, I, um, I could only find a paste, so I'm adding it to the wet ingredients, so a spoonful of the, of the paste, and then beat all that together. Next, take the dry ingredients and stir it all in until it makes a sticky dough. Okay, cut the dough up into golf ball size and roll them into the smooth. And then flat them into a circle and roll them out to the size of top of a, say, coffee can or a bottom of a bowl. And then there they are, all flat. Okay, take two tablespoons of the meat mixture that you made last night. Put in an empanada, or the sartenia, sorry, Bolivian people. And then chuck some olives on top. Now they also can put um, hard-boiled eggs and raisins, but I'm only putting olives. And then seal it. So seal it around the top and then fold it onto itself like a braid. This is obviously done horribly, but you get the general idea. And then after that's done, here is others that I have done a bit better. 
And this is what they hopefully look like a bit, so break it around the edges. Okay, get some egg whites and just wash the, or brush and wash the sultanas. Pop them in the oven, set at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take it out of the oven and serve. It, now it's customary to actually eat it apparently upright like that so all the juices don't escape. And there you have it, Saltenia, the national dish of Bolivia.